हेलो स्टूडेंट्स साई राम इन आर टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज गेटिंग टू नो प्लांट्स बट बिफोर दैट लेट अस हैव अ लुक ऑफ द टॉपिक्स वी हैव कवर्ड इन दिस चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव स्टडीड दैट प्लांट्स आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज दैट इज हर्ब्स श्रब्स एंड ट्रीज then we have studied the different parts of the plant and their functions we have studied the different parts of the plants like stem leaf root and flower so i hope all the topics are clear to you now let us try to solve the different questions from this chapter students try to write the answers in your notebook and check whether you have written the correct answer or not so let us start first question consider the following statement and choose the correct one the four statements are given to you and you have to choose the which one is correct one the first option is the vein run parallel to each other on both the sides of the midrib called parallel venation your, your the veins which run par, runs parallel to each other shows the parallel venation yes so this statement is correct or true b conduction describes upward movement of water in the stem we know that stem conducts water in upward direction so this statement is also correct that is conduction describes the upward movement of water in a stem third statement the petiole is the part of the leaf which is attached to the stem so this is the petiole is the part of the leaf which is attached to the stem this is the statement is correct yes this statement is also correct so a b and c this all the uh, options are correct so here you are going to click on the correct answer as all of the above now let us see the second one which of the following term constituted the female part of the plant and which one of the following um, is the correct one option a is sepals petals and stamens b is stigma style and ovary option c is ovary stamen and stigma and option d is ovary style and stamen so so what do you think is the correct answer it is option number b that is stigma style and ovary we know that the pistil is the female part of the flower and pistil consists of stigma style and ovary stigma is the upper part of the pistil style is the middle portion and the ovary is the swollen part of the swollen and lowermost part of the pistil so the correct option is b stigma style and ovary now we'll move on to the third question which of the following combination of feature features would you observe in grass so which of the following features would you observe in the grass options are parallel venation and fibrous root option b is parallel venation and tap root C reticulate venation and fibrous root D is reticulate venation and tap root so what do you think is the correct answer first thing what type of venation do we observe in grass is it parallel or reticulate venation in the grass we observe the parallel venation now you have to choose from A and B which one is the correct one whether we observe parallel venation and fibrous root or parallel venation and tap root so we know that when we observe parallel venation in the leaf the roots are fibrous roots so the correct option is option a parallel venation and fibrous root next is fourth question which of the following is the correct match between the characteristics of the stem and the category of the plant so for you are given here the different characteristics and the categories of the plant you have to choose which one is the correct pair so the options are weak stem which cannot stand upright is a creeper option b is green tender stem is a shrub option c is thick hard stem with branching near the base is tree and d thick hard stem with branches high on the plant are herbs so what do you think is the correct answer which one is the correct answer yes here children a a weak stem which cannot stand upright are creeper so what are creeper children creepers are have a weak stem and they cannot stand upright therefore they spread or creep on the ground 
देयरफॉर स्टेटमेंट ए और ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट वन नाउ ग्रीन टेंडर स्टेम आर स्टेम श्रब्स नो हर्ब्स हाफ ग्रीन टेंडर स्टेम देन थिक हार्ट स्टेम प्राचीन या द बेस दिस वन इज फॉर द श्रब्स श्रब्स हैव थिक एंड हार्ट स्टेम विच ब्रांच नियर द बेस एंड यर ऑप्शन डी इज थिक हार्ट स्टेम विद ब्रांचेस हाई ऑन द प्लांट आर द ट्रीज दैट्स वाई यर द करेक्ट मैच इज फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन इज वीक स्टेम विच कैन नॉट स्टैंड अप राइट और इज अ क्रीपर नाउ फिफ्थ इज द विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट फॉर द फंक्शन ऑफ द रूट ऑफ अ प्लांट or you can see that which one which of the following statement is correct one for the functions of the roots of the plant roots of a plant a option is roots anchor the plant of the soil roots absorbs water and mineral from the soil c roots are helps in holding the soil together and option d is all of the above so children which among of them is the correct function of the root do root anchor the plant of the soil yes root absorb water and mineral from the soil and root also help in holding the soil together therefore all of the three are the functions of the uh, plant so here all of your correct answer is d all of the above now sixth is the question the female reproductive part of the plant is so here you have to tell which one is the female reproductive part of the plant is still stamen anther or filament yes children so here which is the female reproductive part of the flower or we can say the female reproductive part of the plant is the answer is pistil then you are going to click on the option number a next seventh one is what kind of leaf venation does a rose leaf has options given to you are yes you have to observe this uh, diagram and this is the question based on the diagram and options given to you are radiculate venation option b pallor venation and op option c is both of these and option d is none of these your children if you observe this leaf carefully you will see that the ro uh, rose leaf have uh, reticulate venation here if you observe carefully you will see that the veins how the veins are arranged they are they are forming a net like structure so you are going to click on the option number a which is the correct answer and which is reticulate venation next question is question number a eight leaves are known as the food factories of the plants yes this answer statement is correct true you are going to click on the true option and why because leaf prepare the food and the process by which the leaf leaves prepare food is known as photosynthesis therefore leaves are also known as the food factories of the plant now we will move on to the question number 9 a thick vein in the middle of the leaf is known as dash lamina petiole stipule or midrib so children what is the uh, thick vein is called which is present in the middle of the leaf we call yes which is the correct answer it is midrib midrib is the thick vein which is present in the middle of the leaf and your children you are going to click on the answer number d last question is the leaves of the neem plant are bitter in taste it has great medicinal value what kind of roots is present in it so we have to tell here what kind of the roots are present in the neem tree options are tap root fibrous root both of these and none of these here children here when we observe the leaf of the neem plant what kind of venation do you show do it show it shows reticulate venation and reticulate venation is found in which type of roots uh, reticulate venation of a leaf shows yes tap root yes if a leaf is showing reticulate venation that plant is having tap root system so you are going to click on option number a here children if you check your answers you will get the all answers correct yes so now children i am ending this session over here goodbye children take care